had that in the plans to build a cultural center for many years. So a lot of the artifact collection was acquired in 1993 from a gentleman, uh, some of you may know, uh, Arlo Hasse, and he's a Carver County resident. And you know he was a friend to the community. And when the community uh, did get the collection, it w the, the idea was to always put it in a cultural center. So even from that time, you know, all the way to when it was opened in 2019, there was a lot of, uh, you know, that idea to have that cultural center was, was always there. What is the population of the Native American in Minnesota? I, I don't know uh, the exact number or even, yeah, sorry, I don't know the exact number of that. But there are 11, uh, commu 11 tribal communities in Minnesota. So seven Anishinaabe and then four Dakota tribes. But yeah, I, I don't know the, the population of, of them all. Anything else? I'm sorry. Can I interrupt a little? I had a question. I know there are many people who have collections of stone artifacts. And if they wanted to uh, donate those to the Sioux community, the Milwaukee Sioux community, or have um, or receive and get advice as to where to take them. Um, there, I know two collections are cataloged at Minnesota State University, one at the University of Minnesota. Uh, however, I know private individuals that have wide items found on um, property that the family has presently lived in the farm. Can they, do you offer a service in terms of dating or? We don't uh, do authentication or anything like that, but if you wanted to, they could certainly contact us and we would look at, you know, we do get a lot of requests, you know, uh, at least three or four every week from collectors or, you know, individuals that are aware of collections that, you know, they want us to look at. So, you know, that's something that's part of, you know, our collections team job is to kind of go through those requests and see if that's something we can either you know, accept as a donation into the collection or at least kind of serve as a referral for someone else to say, you know, this really wouldn't be right for our collection, but, you know, this is another area where you could potentially bring your objects. Okay. Well, I know how uncomfortable those wooden matches. <laughs> <laughs> so just a couple of brief open comments. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, um, we did, with the help of Secondly, I'd just like to give another big round of applause for Dennis and Bobby and 